Now, as you've seen from the recent photos of Summer, her head is shaved. The reason for this apparently be to the fact that she had a lice infestation for very outdoorsy people living in the rural part of Tennessee. As you can see from this photo, the mom is sat there, what looks like a box of headrin. I've got one just the same and it's got exactly the same colours on the box. Not only that, there is a lice comb next to it. It looks like they've been trying to deal with it and maybe not managed to get rid of them, so decided to shave her head. But when looking on the internet, it states, the reason shaving the whole head will not work is that lice live at the base of the hair and on the scalp, on the roots. The nits are laid right at the base of the hair, often against the scalp. Shaving will not get close enough to make an impact on lice or nits. Now it's said that Summer's father Donald Wells of Rogersville had been arrested for domestic assault, possession of a handgun while under the influence and unlawful possession of a weapon by Deputy Chivalry. In this report, Deputy Chivalry said that when he responded to the incident of domestic assault, he observed a white GMC Sonoma pulling into Beach Creek Road. He identified the driver as Wells and deputies proceeded at the scene and spoke to the victim and two witnesses who said that the victim's husband left in the white Sonoma. Shortly after Deputy Winter noticed a white truck coming back up the driveway, Chivalry reports that family members feared the return of Wells and claimed that there was a firearm in the vehicle. Wells was detained during a felony stop in the driveway where he was determined to have a strong odour of alcohol and was stumbling when he was picked up off the ground. He stated that the reports that the family feared his return and claimed that there was a firearm in the vehicle. He stated that there was a black powder pistol in the glove box of the vehicle and Wells reportedly went on to say that he was a felon from charges in Utah and had been drinking. A firearm was also located in the vehicle and Wells was arrested on the above charges. Now that was a couple of years ago. There were people commenting on the fact that Summer had bruises on her body. As you can see in this photo, there is one on her arm and she does look a little bit dirty. Having said that, they are playing outside all the time. The mother's posting videos of them playing in water, playing in the garden, rolling around with the dogs apparently planting flowers you know they live outside a lot of the time so these children are going to get dirty are the bruises from a reason that we don't want to even consider or are these bruises from a little child playing outside and banging herself but there were a couple of comments that people posted that knew the family one of them said y'all i think something bad has happened to this child my daughter is best friends with the family my daughter came to me a couple of weeks ago upset. She sat down next to me and told me she'd visited their house in Beach Creek with her best friend and best friend's grandmother. She told me that they were shooting the dogs with BB guns and smacking the kids around. My daughter got the address for me and I called DCS. Obviously, we don't know if this is true. It's something that was on Facebook, but, you know... These people are obviously very concerned. There was another comment which took me back to the photo of Summer with the bruise on her arm. And it was from a woman that I'm presuming works in some kind of retail. She said, This mom comes into my work with two boys and a little girl. I've wanted to say something multiple times because she's so mean to her. She will buy the boy something, but not the girl squeezing her arm as tight as she can. She's dressed in filthy pyjamas and either shoes that look too small or a pair of dirty flip-flops. It's the saddest thing I've ever seen. There were also people commenting about the state of the house that she lived in. One person saying that they'd only recently lived, moved in there and that they were doing the house up. Others that were saying that the place was dirty and not fit for children. So let's look at the DCF guidelines, what they class as child neglect and what to look out for. For some varieties of neglect, such as withholding affection, now these are tricky to detect, but other kinds, particularly physical neglect, are more easily noted. And the following signs are potential signs of neglect. 
Untreated medical problems, for example, if the child has cut or becomes badly, badly infected. Clothing. A sign of neglect can also include a child going outside in a t-shirt in the middle of winter or going out in the rain when it's pouring outside. Poor hygiene, a dirty face, grubby fingernails, poor body odour, matted hair, chronic infestations of lice or other tip-offs. Distended abdomen, a distended stomach, a characteristic of malnutrition and constant hunger. This is a sign of extreme neglect. Now out of all of those, the only signs that I have seen would have been the grubby, dirty face and the fact that she obviously had had or has some kind of infestation of lice. All the other things are very difficult to accuse somebody of when we don't live there and we don't know. Things such as how they sleep at night, whether they're hoarding food, complaining of abandonment, stomach ache, hunger, all these things, unless we speak to Summer, we're not going to know. But I think one of the questions I'm interested in knowing is what happened and how did we go from this? To this. Then I get into the question of when is it safe for a child to hold a gun? I would say never. I don't know anything about guns. I don't live in the US. In England, we're not allowed. Guns are illegal. So I don't know much about guns, but I would have thought if I had to put money on it, children under a certain age are not allowed to play with guns. Maybe they're just posing in these pictures, but to me, it doesn't look right. And I don't think they should be playing with guns. What are your thoughts on this, guys? Or any of this video? Okay, so it's come to the end of this video today. But I want to ask you to go ahead, go across and look at Above and Beyond Ancestry. She has posted a video today, only two hours ago. And it's really crazy. I actually believe every single word she's just said. I am quite a spiritual person and I do sense and feel things quite often but to me this gave me chills and to be honest after everything we've seen and heard over the last few days this will put it all into perspective for you guys go ahead and take a listen please subscribe and please please leave a comment in her description and tell her that Emma sent you from Crime Stories Obsessed okay guys thank you and as always guys take care all right, bye.